Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of the Stanley Parable. Now, I was reading the comments of the last video, and one of you guys was telling me that as soon as the game starts, rush to room 425, I believe, and there should be another Stanley walking around in the office, and you said it's creepy. So we're going to begin the game, and I'm going to try to rush over there, and we're going to catch this guy in the act. I might have to try this multiple times, too, because they said in the comment that it works sometimes. It doesn't work every single time. So if I don't see it initially, then I'm just going to repeat it about two to three times if it doesn't work and I'm just gonna say fuck it this okay, is let's... a story of a man named okay Stanley. let's click skip and rush to room 425 425 429 wait fuck which one's 425 okay 437 perhaps he had simply 425 there you go no I don't see anybody okay I'm gonna try that again okay now that I know where it is we're gonna wait what the hell this is 425 Oh, the office became different. Fuck! Okay, redo. There you go. It's back to normal. 425 is just around the corner. Narrator, shh, shh. I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, let's see. Where is he? I rushed here all the way here. There is not another Stanley. Stanley the Manly? Stanley went around touching Fuck every you. little thing in the office. Come on, let me endure 425. No, did it advance uh, the story in any Okay, way. I'm gonna try this one more time and he better be there. Go! Just Come on, baby. This door, Run, Stanley! Run your ass off, off, Stanley! Come on, we can catch him. Door, we can catch him. Yes! We did it! There he is! What the fuck? Who was that guy? Stanley went hey! around touching every little thing in the Whoa, office. Whoa, that was so cool! I really like seeing that. I'm glad that it worked. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Man, that caught me off guard. I really didn't expect for that to work, but I'm glad it worked on our third try. Third time's a charm. That is a real quote. When Stanley came to a Ooh. set of two open doors, this was I not good. the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yes, yes, admire it. Oh, I'm feeling good about yes, seeing another person in the office. Just makes me feel so good. But eager to get back to business, <sighs> Stanley took the first open door on his left. Yeah, I'm not going to do that today. Can you guys see how I'm like grinning from ear to ear? That was so awesome. Stanley I really love seeing that. Following directions. It's Remix. incredible he wasn't five years ago. Okay. Last episode, I tried to figure out how to get down there. And I'm gonna try to walk on this lift and then I'm gonna back that ass up. So go here. There you go. Oh well, look who's got cold feet. Sorry to break <laughs> it to you, Stanley, but that lift isn't coming back. You'd best either get comfortable right here on this platform or test your luck by jumping to the floor below. You know what? Looking at it now, it's not that far to the bottom floor. I bet you can make it. Yeah, he bet me he can make it. How much you wanna bet me, narrator, huh? 20? 50? Come a hundo? On. I'm sure you'll survive the jump. Don't tell me you're scared. That's not the Stanley I know. Do it! 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 <laughs> Damn, this dude is egging me on, man. What a bully. Cyber bully. Let me see if he says anything else. Come on! Talk to me! Tell me what's up. Let me jump. Let me jump or no? I'm gonna do it, narrator! Alright, no! You gonna say anything? Come on. Whoa. Okay. I'm gonna jump. No turning back. You know what? Maybe there's another door that's open now. Or do I really have to jump now? Aw, oh, damn it. Looks like the only way is to become a Stanley Pancake. Unless... Can I push these boxes off? Nope. What about this chair? Nope. What about this rope? Maybe I can rappel down. Nah, that's not a thing. That's not a thing. Okay, do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, 1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, 5,000. So if I somehow survive the fall, I still have to pay five grand out of my own pocket? Damn. Anyway, I'm just gonna try to make it onto this truck. Geronimo! Whoops, looks like I was wrong. How clumsy of me. Okay, well. He let me die. I guess there is no way down there. Maybe that light coming out just shows you that, you know, it'll tempt you, but you can't actually go down there. So let's try some other endings. Uh, we've already done this ending where we close the door and we're just in here forever. So let's already just look this around. Was uncomfortable. And Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. 
What? Oh yeah, the door closed, but I'm not in there, buddy. Let me just click on everything in here. There you go, just gotta touch it. I have OCD. Just kidding, don't get triggered, people who have OCD. Uh, we're good. I think we've done everything in here. I remember the telephone rang. I don't know how I got that one to work. But apparently it's not gonna work anymore. Let's close this. Okay. I'm just gonna touch doors. I like touching doors, it's my favorite. Turn off the computer. And I'm just gonna turn off all the computers. Cause I'm a good person, I wanna save electricity. Username access? Wait, the username is access? What the fuck? Turn all this shit off. Oh! Input received. Input received? What input? What input has been received into that computer? That was really cool seeing that person, by the way. I still can't get over that. So awesome. Door 417. 416. 415. I want to get in here. That's where I want to go. It's over there. 4B3? I want some of that 4B3. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, we got it, buddy. Where are we going now, narrator? I don't know what other endings to do. Well, there was that mind control ending where I turned it off and then I got the freedom ending. Let's see what happens when I do the other switch. So let's go ahead over Yet, there. There was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. All right, we are going to go to our staircase, boss's office. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. How come the boss's office looks so smooth? Like, you just want to, like, rub your face against that wall. You're just like, oh, yeah, it's whatever that is, like, leather. Or is that, like, velvet? Or what is it? Is velvet even a type of, like, <laughs> material? I think that's just the color. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. Two, of course, eight, Stanley four, five. Known that. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Yes. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Yes. Down we go. You know what this part reminds me of? If you guys have seen my Layers of Fear playthrough, the part where you go down that elevator and then there's a girl walking towards you and then comes in the elevator with you. Ooh, that shit was so scary. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Wait, can I actually go back in here? No, the elevator just all of a sudden just breaks down on us. Okay, break it down, girl. Do you think? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Yes, we are going to go to MCF. Mind Control Facility. And the door is closed, so we can't go back. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I wonder how many TVs there are in here. I wonder how much it costs, too. Like, when it turns on, I wonder how much the electric bill is. It's probably through the roof? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each <laughs> bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. What room is that over there? The one with the red carpet. That's groovy, baby. Cool. Let me see if I can find any Easter eggs. Or just any rooms that I haven't seen. Oh! Nope. Okay. We are just gonna continue along the path. Thank you for showing me these numbers. Yay, there we go. We get to see the magic. Let me just look around here. Let me admire this. Ah, fine! 
Just press it. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Okay, step off. Oh, no. Fuck! Damn, he I was trying to step off! To believe it. I he was trying to juke him. couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yes, narrator, I have been blind. Here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Is that what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna dismantle the controls once and for all? What if I don't wanna, huh? I already did it last time. Maybe I'm gonna do something else. You never know. That's the thing with me, you just never know. One minute I could be left, the next minute I could be right. Okay, so last time we did off, this time we're gonna do on. No turning back, guys. Baboosh! Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After I did. kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, fuck. oh, oh it's scary! Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little oh, more fun, shit. isn't it, Stanley? It's okay. your time to shine. Um, you are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about We you, answer passcode. About me. Where we're going. What all this means. I barely know where to start. Okay, there were some numbers. Like One to, know to where five. Your are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. Exit. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna Let's die go. anyway. I'll tell you exactly. Oh, bitch! I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the it's office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. Uh -oh. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra Fuck. time on the clock. Why not? What's this? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time there we go. Green. Trees. Orange. Oh, What's the matter, Stanley? Is it Blue? that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing okay, right now? Okay, fuck. Or did okay, you just um, assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning oh, it off? Oh, fuck. I mean, look at you. Running from button uh, to button. There has to be a code. Screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. Now the fuck. Buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this I'm drawer. trying to click everything, narrator. Anything, anything. Something here will save me. Why would you say that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? 
Do you have He's trolling any me. idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only oh, still fuck. playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Damn, this guy's a, a savage! Clock, that's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Damn. When he said, basically, no matter what button I press, no matter what strategy I do, I'm just fucked because he's basically trolling me and, like, it's inevitable that I'm gonna die. That sealed it for me, man. I felt that one. The narrator's emotions and his voice acting was really good. He's a really powerful voice actor. I appreciate that. Okay, so we press the on switch and the off switch for the mind control facility. We've closed ourselves in here. We've got in All of the ending where we were... fell off. Wait. No, this isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? No. This is my office, 427. Okay. All right, narrator, get your facts straight. Let me just try turning this off again. There you go. This computer wasn't on before. Huh. Interesting. Let me see if the other one in the other room was on, because it said input received. Maybe it's some kind of, like, code? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm gonna go to the one on my right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Hmm. I'm all out of ideas for what kind of endings are in this game, because maybe there's, like, secret wow. endings? Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Close this. Nope. Okay. I am gonna go in here. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been Yolo about bitches! nothing but... Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why... I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Okay, I'm gonna be an asshole and just keep going through the blue door again. Aha! Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. No. Going through the blue I door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked... All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Huh. Huh. I'm going to try to get back in here before it closes. Huh. Come on. You see? D uh, There's damn nothing it. here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. 
tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There yes. we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Okay, so last time I went in the door with the orange walls. This time, I'm going to go into... Should I go in the middle door or the left door? I'm left-handed. We're going to go to the left. Oh. <laughs> we still end up here no matter what. What? Come on, narrator. Throw me a bone here. Fine. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Okay, since you tricked me, I am going to give you a one. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's a not one. even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. All right. Oh, it's the leaderboard. I don't care about the leaderboard. I'm going to go in the middle door. And it still leads me to this door. Okay, so I'm assuming it's going to lead me to that video game ending where it takes me to Minecraft and Portal. So maybe I'm going to restart this and try to find a different ending. Okay, so I was reading some Stanley Parable hints at endings. It doesn't actually tell you the endings. And they said one of the desks in this game can lead you outside of the window, and we are going to find out which one it is. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. Okay. Oh. So it needs to be towards the window, right? So... Uh, I can jump out the window? How the fuck does that work? Oh, there we go. Right? Yeah! Yeah, baby! Okay, so... There we go, okay. We are about to go out the window. We are going towards the light. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! What the- At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. <laughs> he then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we yes. take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you <laughs> sick of this gag yet? Are you sick of this gag yet? Yes or no? Okay, we are going to click yes the first time, and then we'll see what happens when we click no the next time. Yes. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. Uh-oh. There once was a man named Stanley, <laughs> who people considered so manly. Yes, But the truth manly. must be told, he was not very old, and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way, but his brain had long ceased to function. <laughs> which is why he is in this parable, and lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong, and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You too will become quite unbearable. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. I like this guitar song. It brings a tear to my eye. Did we just hear it until we restart the game?
Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna wait here and see what happens. There we go. The music kind of stopped. I listened to the whole thing. Hello? Narrator? I'm still here! Hello? Can you play more guitar? I'm still down here. He forgot about me. Okay, so I guess I have to restart the game now. <laughs> at the end of the song, I think you just stay out here looking at two windows like there's some boobies. Okay, let's restart it. Okay, I'm gonna try one more ending in this episode. It's called the Heaven Ending, and I'm actually looking at it right now because there are nine steps to get this ending, and then we can experience it together. So the first step is to turn on or turn off the computer on desk 419. So let's head over to desk Stanley 419. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. 419. Just a matter of time. There it is. Oh, I think I already turned this one off before. Remember when I said, hey, I saw another computer with input received? I think that was it. So, desk 423. And I did that one too. So already he steps ahead. On the boss's secretary desk outside the boss's office. Okay, so I need to go to the boss's office and turn off the computer at the secretary's desk. Here we are. And let's turn this one off. There you go, awaiting input. Input received. And now we are supposed to restart the game and go to a different computer. This time we go to desk 434. Oh, gone. What could it mean? Yes. Stanley decided input to go received. to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Press it. There you go, I did it. Stanley and then went the around next one touching is every little restart the game. And then on Stanley's computer is the last one. And we'll see what this is all about. Whoa. Here we go. I'm excited. Ooh. Buttons. Yeah. This cult ass song though. <laughs> Is this all I'm supposed to do? Do I turn off all the buttons? Oh god, I hope I don't, cause I will turn off all the buttons. So help me God. Wait, what are they actually saying? Hold on. What times? Sounds like me when I play 60 seconds. I'm like, Wata. Give them some Wata and some soap. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't think pressing buttons is going to do anything. Because the buttons actually light up again after I turn them off. So that's not going to work. Okay. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end this episode of the Stanley Parable here. I will finish up all the remaining endings that I didn't do in the last episode of the Stanley Parable. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you guys give this video a like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!